Hello everyone, I was just going to make a sermon video. I'm in the Whole Armor God, uh, a series that I'm doing requested by someone. Uh, I'm going to read Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 in the King James Version of the Bible. And it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, take taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And just got through making that one in. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So we're going to do the uh, helmet of salvation, and then next we'll do... Um, the sword of the spirit. So, uh, this, this talks about the helmet of salvation. It talks about the full assurance of one's salvation. The helmet protects the saint, the ch child of God, from the double-edged sword of discouragement and doubt. Mm. And um, We, you know, this this is very important. Uh, our mind is very important to protect our mind. Uh, besides salvation, and it's probably the most important thing that we have is our mind. And a good mind is, uh, if you have a good mind, you ought to be so thankful for it. Um, The devil has various wiles, and he does everything in his power to destroy our faith, draw attention away from God and its glory. And uh, but when we decide to stand, we hold a critical position against the attack of the enemy. Uh, the, you know, it's talking about a soldier who refuses to give an inch of ground to to the enemy. Uh, it is the image of a soldier defending and protecting precious ground which has already been taken from the man to me. It's what God meant when he said, neither give place to the devil. Uh, our minds. Um, He said, give me just a second. When Jesus was attacked by the enemy, he, uh, he responded with uh, the word of God. You, you can't bring a gun to a knife fight. Uh, we need to have the right thing and the word of God is what we need and over in the 12th chapter of Romans I think I'll just turn over there and read it real quick it says I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might pro prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So our mind is how we fight. We fight with our mind. Uh, we're transformed uh, like a butterfly. Uh, and we, we must protect our mind, our thoughts, that uh, and not let, get, let the enemy get in on our uh, with negative thinking and uh, and imaginations <laughs> and that sort of thing. And the way I try to fight him too is to be positive, to be, uh, I try to be on offense and not give him uh, a chance to, to to mount attack. I think about transformation. You know, I've, I've said this in other videos, but this is the whole purpose of this one is the mind. 
that um, uh, the the helmet of salvation. But you see a caterpillar crawling around on the ground. On the ground, you have no idea that that's going to be a beautiful butterfly. Uh, there's nothing about it that lets you know that it's going to be a beautiful butterfly. But it's transformed, and that's the way we can be with our mind. We can be transformed by the renewing of our mind, and that's what we need. Um, we need we need to have our minds transformed, where that we can um, be on offense and not so much on defense. Uh, we studied the other. We studied the other. Uh, defense and this is the last one is our mind I, I could see uh, that I needed a helmet when I first received salvation I saw that the, the frame of mind that I was in was not going to help me get down to the end uh, you need a frame of mind you need a mind that can help you go all the way to the end um, a lot of people started and stopped but I wanted one that could take me to the end and uh, so I've worked on my mind every day. Uh, I've worked on this helmet every day, trying to, uh, you can get mind virus. Satan can interject imagination and you can have a virus of your mind, just like this uh, coronavirus that we're in right now. And, and not only can you get it, but you can spread it to other people. I don't wanna be a person that's always casting doubt on everything. I wanna be somebody that can encourage and can supply encouragement to other people. I want to be a kind of purpose person saying that we can make it and not that, oh, I don't know if we can make it. Um, I want to be that kind of person, the kind of, that rallies people and does them good. So, uh, and I need the word of God to help me with my mind. You know, you can make it with a, a average barber or or uh, or whatever, uh, maybe you can do when with with some meals that's not too good, but you have to have your mind right. And I've told before, I guess you're getting wore out with it, but I saw that my mind wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. I saw a man named Brother Harold Simmons, and uh, he had all kind of difficulties, but he held his head up. And I thought to myself, there must be a way. Uh, to have a smile on your face, to, to be to be thinking positive, to be on offense, and not just be backing up. And and uh, so in the next video, we're going to study the sword of the spirit, and that's the only offense in this whole thing, as far as I can see. But we need the sword of the spirit to to fight back with. We need the shield of faith to block the blows. But we need we need something for us on offense, and that's the the Word of God, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, Satan, he'd like to strip the truth right out of your mind and fill it with his his devices. Uh, he wants to, he'd just love to take a person's mind and get it in a, a, a downward trajectory so that he can discourage other people. We, I want to encourage people. If I can't encourage you, uh, I don't want to discourage you. I made a statement one time. I said, uh, I was over at church and leading a meeting, and I said, uh, the day that I start uh, hindering the works of God, I want to go on. Then I thought about that thing for a little bit, and that, before the service was over, I said, I don't want to go the day that I start hindering the works of God. I want to go the day before. There's too much to help to hinder. And you say, well, Brother Dale, I'm not a help, but I'm not a hindrance. I'm just kind of there in the middle. No, you're not. No. You're either a help or a hindrance. You can't walk that fine line. You'll either fall off on one side or the other. So make up your mind what you're going to be. I'm hoping with these videos and all the other things I've done, uh, since I've had hope, since it's been a help to somebody. I would love to help you. I would love for the Lord to tell me what to do to help you. 
And if you would give me some suggestions, comments, or whatever, I'd appreciate that feedback. Uh, you know, David, whenever um, he got in a jam, it said he encouraged himself. You gotta, if I'm gonna encourage you, I gotta, go, I gotta be encouraged myself first. So all of your comments, all of your notes, calls, or whatever, they're encouragement to me. So uh, may God bless you. My telephone number is 256-508-4410. Call, I might not get right back to you, but I'll try to get back to you. And uh, leave me a message if, if it, at all possible. I care about you. I care very much about you. Uh, I want to dedicate my life to helping folks like I believe is listening to this. So may God bless you is our prayer.